Here in the sleepy little town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, lurks a mystery. A legend of a creature that is said to be half moth and half man. And is known by the locals as Mothman. I was intrigued. My thirst for information on this elusive creature led me to 411 Main Street, where I found the only Mothman Museum in the world. Once inside, I found the museum's curator, Jeremy Pitchford, very helpful. How did Mothman get his name? Uh, it was from a Batman comic book series with a, a superhero named uh, Mothman. And originally it was called Birdman because it looked like a man with wings, so it looked like a bird. But the media basically came up with the name. Have you ever seen Mothman? No, and I really don't want to. <laughs> when was the most recent sighting of Mothman? Uh, according to... We hear people say things all the time. Even the director of the museum gets, you know, some emails and all that. The tsunami in Japan, they said they saw it before then. Is Mothman dangerous? Well, it seems like if there's a catastrophe every time he's seen, I would say yeah. What is the best protection against an encounter with Mothman? Well, according to most witnesses, it's run or get in the car and speed away, which doesn't always, you know, make him go away for sure, but it seems like that's been the only thing that anybody's ever been able to do was just, you know, run away. Well, I was thinking that if, if you ran, would you leave your flashlight on the ground? Uh, you might want to. Maybe he'll fly around the flashlight. Possibly. Okay, maybe that's what you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I had grown weary of the propaganda and the evasive answers. But it only took a moment till I was right back in with the hard-hitting questions. Has anyone ever tried to catch Mothman? Well, uh, during the times when they were seen, they were out with shotguns and rifles and everything else. But according to what, you know... Everybody said they never did find anything or never did see it to actually shoot at it. What about if somebody built an eight-foot bug light? Huh? I don't think so. Huh? And, uh, then you might get a lot of malls. <laughs> Especially... No, Probably no man with wings, I would say. You, you know, like how you step into a, a conversation with somebody, you go, why did I do that? Here in Point Pleasant, this is C.R. Hayes reporting for WVSU Newsline. What the?